Hey guys, Tim here from Two Feather Survival. I want to talk to you today about some new products that we've got on the market now. Some new steel that I've got in that I'm very, very pleased with. It is a 1095 high carbon. It is a great grade of steel. Um, so I've changed some of the production line over to that type of material. So what I thought I'd do is have a cup of coffee with you guys. I come out here and show off some of the new stuff we've got. First thing that we have is the scout blade has been redesigned. I'll give you a close up of this here in a second. Still the same basic blade shape and structure. I've changed the grind. Now grinding by hand um, using a, a fine file, getting a lot tighter grind. And we're also finding that the blades are a lot sharper and they're holding the edge uh, very, very nice. I've also added in three brass pins for the handle. So now the handle is being secured to the full tang blade uh, by way of a epoxy and pins. So that's giving it a very good feel, very good solid feel to it. I've left in the hole at the back. That's there to put a lanyard strap in. That way when you wrap it around your hand, you can choke back on the blade a little bit further. And that gives you a very nice chopping action. The blade, by way of the annealing and tempering process, is actually naturally taking on an ice blue color. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that, and for those that want to change that, I can polish that off. It doesn't change any of the composition of the metal, but it does make the blade very nice. I'll give you a close-up view of this here. Get that to focus in. There you can see the brass pins. I've increased the length of the jimping along the back of the blade. That way you get a nice grip there, you get some nice tactile feel to it. There you should see the bluing that the blade's taken on. So that's the Scout, guys. Coming out very nice, very pleased with it. It's become a great, great tool to have. Next thing that we have, a couple versions of the Scout Dagger. You'll notice Get the blades lined up here and I'll show you a close up of these as well. I've increased the length of the handle so now I have the traditional smaller handle that I originally came out with and now a little bit longer handle. Both of these are the same steel, 295 high carbon. They've again taken on the natural blue look. Great blades, very, very sharp. Got a piece of paper here. Just going to pull this through. Not a lot of effort. We'll come back to that here in a second. The purpose of the Scout Dagger is, is to have, number one, a backup blade with you. It's going to be worn as a neck knife, boot knife on the sheath. I've also made a few of the sheaths for the Scout that holds the Scout Dagger either on the front or on the back of the leather sheath. This is to have with you an emergency spear point, or like I said, you can use this for small camp chores as well makes great feather sticks. Like I said, they are very, very sharp. Give you a close-up of these. Try to line up the handles here. You'll see there the increased length of the handle. The holes that are on that are there for lashing to sticks. Um, so what this is coming with is a lanyard that's already attached to it. And you see as well, they've taken on a nice blue defect as well really liking that effect. Each one of these is slightly different so they do kind of become a custom work of art. And here two of them lined up you'll see the, the difference in the length. These are also making great throwers. Um, with the steel being annealed and hardened I haven't had any problems with anything bending, chipping off, anything like that. So both of these are becoming great, great blades and I'm very very pleased with them. Hopefully today I'm going to try to get a video up as well where I'm going to actually half these to a large stick so you can see what a spear would look like with one of these type of blades. The new one that I'm playing with, I'll give you a close up to this as well. Still the dagger, it's our basic dagger design. You'll notice that that's made out of carbon, carbon fiber to be exact. Very lightweight, very very strong. This will be a law enforcement, military, 
purchase only, and I'm going to have to have some sort of proof, gang, for those that are out there. I know i got a lot of cops on this channel that are fans of everything that I'm doing. This is for you guys. This is something you can keep. It's not going to get picked up on a metal detector. But again, i got to make sure that you're who you say you are, so it's going to require letterhead if this actually becomes a full production. Along the same idea as the spear points are the arrowheads. The arrowheads are something that you can have with you. Again, these can just be tucked in the pocket of a, of a backpack and one of your survival packs, go bag, whatever you want to call it. Or again, I've made these on the leather sheath of the scout knife. This is to have with you the ability to have arrow points for an emergency bow. If you're carrying paracord on your wrist, got the right tree out in the woods, you've got all the makings of what you're going to need for an emergency bow. The hard part are these right here. If you don't know how to flint nap, or find glass, or anything else out there in the woods, you got to have some way to fashion arrowheads. If you have these with you, again, they're 1095, very, very sharp. These are razor, razor sharp. Have these with you, and you're going to be able to have a way to effectively secure game, both small and large game. That's the reason why there's the two different sizes. Got a small game and a large game arrowhead. Alright guys, well that's the videos for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I um, hope you're enjoying everything that I have here on this channel. We're doing a lot of things. This whole two feather survival concept kind of was an idea I've had for many, many years. Um, it just has the ability now to kind of progress further. Now they have the ability to make the knives, do the leather crafting, those type of things. Um, we are going on some trips here soon, so we'll get you guys out into the woods, show you some of this stuff in action. Been wanting to do that for for a while now. That way we can talk further about some concepts that are out there. And also, the the whole idea between the knives and having this type of stuff with us comes from another concept that I had kind of thought about for quite some time now. And actually, I had a YouTube channel a while ago called the Modern Primitive, and the Modern Primitive mindset kind of comes from this type of a concept. If we could travel back in time, take something like this with us, some of the bow and arrows that we have nowadays, and even some of the, the, the various different firearms that we have, take all that back into, oh, I don't know, two, three, four hundred years ago, even a more modern type of a primitive mindset, American Indians, they would be amazed to see this type of a product. They would be amazed to see things like our bow and arrows that we have nowadays. You put that in their hands, there just would be uh, no match to the, the quality of, of skill and craftsmen. However, their products that they had back in, the, in their ages, in their time, they were great. This just gives the common man or the everyday guy the ability to go out and say, well, I can't flint nap and make a spear point or a makeshift knife, but if I have this with me, I've increased my chances of survival should something go wrong. If you're spending any time out in the woods, guys, make sure that you've got a kit. If you don't have a kit, make sure that you have some sure safety plan that people know where you are. Most survival scenarios last for about 72 hours. If I can't make it through 72 hours, I'm not going to make it. So I have to have a way to secure my survivability. Having something like a small addition of this, a good knife, into our basic kit, basic backpacking kit, whatever the case is, hunting bags, whatever it is that you're doing out in the woods is going to help ensure that you have the ability to come home. All right, guys, that's all I got today. Have a great day. Again, I appreciate everything that you do for me and for Two Feather Survival. I appreciate all the orders recently for the knives. The knives are coming. It's been slow. I had to fix some of the tempering processes, uh, but we are getting back up on uh, a good track with that. The knives are all about 50 to 55 to 60 Rockwell hardness, so you are getting a good high quality, high carbon blade. We'll see you guys. Have a good one.